I just want to start off by saying incredible job. Mm. You portraying this, I mean, iconic character. I know it's not easy, so incredible work. Wanted to give you your flowers to start Thank off. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. What do you think is the biggest emotion you felt while actually portraying this iconic woman? I'm sure it was a myriad of things, but mm. have you felt anything the most? What do you think that was? While portraying her? It's, it's tricky, right? Because right now, I'm living in the reward of it. In, in, and not in how people are responding to the show, but in the fact that I feel like I did what I set out to do, which was bring the full complexity of Dr. Betty Shabazz to the forefront. Um, while I was in it, though, I think anxious. Anxious for a lot of reasons. Anxious because am I the person to do this for one? And and how do I um, how do I take care of her and her story and her voice? Um, anxious about getting it right, which you can't get it right, right? Mm -hmm. um, protective over her and her narrative. So yeah, a lot of a lot of different emotions. But I'd say those were probably the, the biggest two. Anxiety, excitement, response. I don't know if it's saying emotions, but anxiety and excitement. I think in the same time. I think there was a lot of pressure. But then there's a saying that says pressure either bursts pipes or creates diamonds. And so I would say that to my head, myself in my head. Uh, what are we making today? Burst pipes or diamonds? And then I would stand up straight and say diamonds, darling. So I'm looking at a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is a lot to take on. And you talked about being anxious and all these things. For you, what did you do while going through this, taking this role on, such a heavy role on, to stay mentally healthy for yourself? Prayer. A big, 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 big for me. Um, this is not a tall, this is not an easy task. Um, and... Um, what was asked of these icons was something serious and not to be taken lightly and not to be played with. Um, and to show up properly is one thing, but also to then step out of it is another. And at moments I felt like I don't have the, the ability or the capacity to do that for, by myself, so Lord, help me. Help me get there, help me get me out. Um, so prayer was the thing that really sustained me on this project. Prayed a lot. I'm a Christian, so I pray a lot. I always go to God and be like, help me get out of this because this is a lot of load to carry. Um, I prayed that before I started the job and during. Um, I eat for fun and enjoyment, so I ate a lot. Um, I shopped for enjoyment. <laughs> we have so much in common. Yes. Um, yeah, those are the kind of things I do to unwind or I talk to my family and my friends so just to remind me of who I am, remind me that there is a life outside this because, you know, it consumes you or being somebody else for, what, 12 hours out of a day. And so I think it's so important to have those. So my friends, my family, just little things, watching reality TV. What's the favorite? Love from Hip Hop Atlanta. See, I kind of stopped. You did. I did. <laughs> I can't. I watch all of them. Miami, Atlanta, The Real Housewives. I love reality TV. I think for me, it gives me uh, an escapism. And I just like to watch the lives of other people because I'm sad. Seeing you in this role, it reminded me of the weight, really, that black people mm. have to carry. Mm -hmm. And the saying of, you know, black people are superheroes. Yeah. For you personally, what do you think your superpower is? <gasps> oh, that's a good question. <laughs> What is my superpower? Yes, you have to say something nice about yourself. We love to do that because we need to do that more because they won't. Um, my superpower. Uh, um, I think my ability to make space for people. I really intentionally practice that to make people feel um, seen and heard. Um, and I think, based off of the feedback I get from people in my life, I think I do, I think I do an okay job at that. I would like my superpower to be forgiveness. Because I think that that is a huge thing and it actually releases a person of a lot of weight. And I think it's, I think it's important for growth. And so that's crazy you say that because I literally say that in my head every day. I'm like, I want my superpower to be forgiveness because people be getting me mad. 
And so I got to pray and I say, Lord, help me. But forgiveness, 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 I think, is a superpower. And I want that to be my superpower. I'm claiming it for you. Amen, <laughs> Lord. Thank you so much. Again, congratulations on this. And we're excited about what the success of this series and what you do next. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. So lovely to meet you. You as well.